A sight for sore eyes. Planes are now taking off from snowbound Heathrow after Britain's normally busy airport opened both its runways to allow two-thirds of flights to operate. But as things slowly improve, attention's turning to the costs of the disruption and who to blame. One man who's definitely not flavour of the moment is the boss of the organisation which runs the airport. Well, it's unacceptable that passengers can't get where they want to be. Of course it is. And uh, we, need to, we need to fix that. Um, we've had a crisis here. I'm responsible, so I've decided not to take my bonus. But I want us, uh, and the media reporting, actually, to be focused on getting passengers uh, where they want to be. The travel chaos has been felt across Europe, triggering calls for legislation to force airports to provide a minimum level of infrastructure support during severe weather. Too late for one family. Atrocious. Uh, yeah, you had people sleeping on the floor, you had people drunk. Um, you had people shouting, screaming, people wanting to have fights. It's just, it, yeah, it was like a refugee camp. Backroom staff are now working round the clock to reschedule flights and to get stranded passengers on their way, all before the next snow-filled weather front arrives.